Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to continue the series on how to run Condor on Amazon Web Services and specifically how to install remote desktop connection for the Mac or Part 3A of 4. Overall there's been four steps to run Condor on Amazon Web Services. You've completed the first two. Uh, the step one was to sign up for an Amazon account. Step two was to log into the AWS console and set up a server and launch a new instant, which hopefully is running right now. And now you're at step 3A, if you're a Mac user, to set up remote desktop connection. Now, if you're a PC user, uh, you can stop this video and go to 3B uh, to set up remote desktop connection on a PC. So let's continue, assuming you're a Mac user, and uh, then finally, following the step 3A or B, uh, the fourth and final step will be to set up a Condor by installing all the required software. Once all four steps are completed, you'll be able to run Condor on the Amazon Web Services with remote control from your Mac or your PC. So, how to install remote desktop for the Mac. This is what the application is going to look like after install and essentially you're going to enter in that long computer name that you did in the previous step and say connect. Now, um, if you look at the fine detail, it says does not work with or not intended to work with um, Lion or Mountain Lion. I'm running Mountain Lion so I can attest that it does work with Mountain Lion. So, remote desktop for connection for the Mac. Overall, conceptually, this is a little app that connects your Mac to the Amazon Web Services so you can remote control that service from your Mac. So the first and foremost is to download for free the Remote Desktop Connection or RDC for Mac at this uh, web address. Again, if you go back to the YouTube video and you look at under the uh, YouTube, there's a description you can say show me or show more. Um, that link and all the links in this video are there. So it's real easy for you just to put this video on hold and um, get the link and paste it in. So, uh, click on the RDC uh, download link um, or enter it in, and then you're going to see the this web page come up in the lower right. Just click download, and the current version right now is 2.1.1. Um, you'll see as Mac users the DMG file here, and it's in your downloaded fo uh, folder. Uh, you're going to get a thank you message that says thank you for downloading with instructions, which basically I'm going to run through for you. So to begin the installation is click on the RDC DMG and that will bring up this window and um, unlike normally you would just click on this but I'm going to ask you to right click on this package because right clicking is going to open up a different window. So when you um, open up right click it's going to open with the installer app. So you want to make sure to select open with and installer app is the default. And then it's going to give you a little warning message as an unidentified developer. And what you want to do here is click the open button. And then you'll get the traditional kind of law uh, installation uh, screen. So we'll begin by uh, the introduction and click continue. Um, then you're going to get the software license agreement and click continue. Uh, you're going to click agree to the software license agreement. And then finally you're going to click install. Um, at which time you're traditionally, you know, um, asked to put in your Mac PC as part of the security. And then finally, after it does the install, you're going to get a message that says success. So then click close. Then you go to Finder and go to the Applications folder, and you're going to see the Application Remote Desktop Connection app in the Applications folder. So once you click on that, uh, then you want to do is to recall your name and password. So go back to that and um, have ready available your computer name and decrypted password. So once the remote desktop connection starts, paste in the computer name. It's going to be kind of a long name and then click connect. At which point you're going to come back and it's going to ask you for uh, some additional information for your uh, desktop um, credentials. Uh, these credentials we used to connect to is going to replay or uh, restate the name of your computer. The username by default is administrator, so you can just leave that alone. 
password, you're going to put in that decrypted password. The domain will be entered in for you. And then um, I suggest that you click Add User Information to your keychain in your Mac so you don't have to keep redoing this every time. And then finally, click OK. Uh, then you might get a warning message. The server name and the certificate is incorrect. Just don't worry about that. Just click Connect. And then, lo and behold, you're going to see the server connected. So there's going to be your instance, and you're now connected to your Amazon Web Services via your Mac. And, it, and for the next video, we'll talk about uh, downloading all the software. But in essence, right now, you have a fully running server on Amazon Web Services. To quit the uh, remote desktop connection, just up on your um, the Mac application in the upper um, left, you click on RDC, and at the very um, bottom, uh, traditionally, just say quit RDC. So, we've now completed the first three steps of your sign up for Amazon account. You've logged into Amazon console, and um, as a Mac user, you set up remote desktop connection so that you can begin um, installing software and running it remotely from your um, Mac computer. The fourth and final step uh, next is to set up Condor by installing all the required software. The Java, Java 3D, MySQL, Navicat is an optional, and Condor itself. And with the last and fourth part, which is the next part, you'll be able to run Condor on Amazon Web Services with remote control from your Mac. So again, welcome to Galaxy Advisors.